First of all, welcome to the channel. Thank you for stopping by. When time permits, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. In this video, we're heading to the Green Mountain National Forest in Vermont to find a moto camping spot. We're crossing the New York-Vermont border and the view never disappoints. You can clearly see why Vermont is called the Green Mountain State. We'll enjoy the view for a moment and I'll pick you back up when we reach the forest. All right, 6.4 miles. I'm on National Forest 71 in Vermont. This is where I read there are quite a few campsites off of that are good for tent camping. So it's pretty early in the season. With any luck, there'll be at least one or more. I have seen a ton of trailers and fifth wheels going by, so I guess people are already camping, but probably not out in the National Forest. I don't think anything like that would fit here. Did have two guys blow by me on giant GSs looking like they were packed up to uh, cross the country, so perhaps they were coming this way. The instructions were not very clear other than get into Vermont, get on National Forest Road 71 and there's a pick of places to camp. There weren't really any mile markers or distances or any details at all so I'm assuming hopefully I will just stumble across campsites while on this road. I did go ahead and put the GPS for a airport of all things in here that was listed as nearby just so I'd have something to aim for. Oh, this is slippery! Ha ha ha! They just put the gravel on this road. Hey, your side, buddy, your side. Okay, his side is my side. Nice lake. I have been to Vermont countless times, but I have actually never been inside the National Forest. Just passing it on the way to visit friends or go to Maine, New Hampshire. So this is a first. Hopefully it'll be a great experience. It's quite large. I mean, not by, you know, national park sizes, but for a national forest on the East Coast, there's a lot here. Jeepers. Ah, five miles to my mile marker that I picked randomly on this road. I did not see any signs that said camping. Oh, that sign said keep going. That's good. And I should have lowered my air pressure. I did not. I should have turned off my traction control. I did not. But I wasn't expecting as much gravel as there was. And now I'm too lazy to stop. Just enjoying riding through the forest. Kind of surprised I haven't run into another motorcycle. Whoops, I'm speeding. I think our state forests are only 15, so 25 is generous. There's an old building. I do miss when they built things out of stone. They seem to last. Oh, that opened up nicely. I can't believe there's so little water this time of year. Usually in the northeast everything is high this time of year from the snow melt and middle of July it dries up. That doesn't look like there'll be anything at all there by the middle of July. So I did go ahead and stop and drop the air down. This stuff is uh, loose and moving under my tires. There's no reason to be at full pressure. And this is a beautiful place to stop. Hopefully I can get a campsite where I can hear this babbling brook. 
because it is peaceful and gorgeous. Bike is holding up well. The chain is actually staying where it's supposed to. Big improvement over last trip. Nothing's moved. Nothing's fallen off. Pretty good for a KTM. Now, let's see if we can go find some place to camp. Head east on 71. All right, we went from following that beautiful creek to camping. I'm definitely looking for something a little more private. But, a dude on the internet was correct. Follow this road, get lots of camping. All right, we got restrooms. No camping next three quarters, that's fine. That was a lot of people in a very small area. I'm not saying I wouldn't camp there, but it really isn't my first choice. I'm definitely gonna have to uh, spend a little more time in this road trying to find something more remote. This right here is exactly what I bought this bike for. I didn't really need it for off-road. I have one of those. I didn't really need it for on-road. I usually have one of those. But something that'll get me out there and not be concerned about the... Not concerned about the ride out and not concerned about the dirt you're going to end up in. Not that I probably couldn't ride on this with my FC1, but Jesus wouldn't be fun with that stiff suspension. This is just comfy. There's a lot of places near me where you can camp state forest and such, but you need to be 150 feet away from the road. And getting my bike 150 feet away from the road probably wouldn't be fun. I'm hoping to be lazy and find something someone's already dug out for me. Like probably that. Yeah, I should be slowing down and looking for those. Having too much fun riding on the road, I'm not looking at the cutouts. And I need to find one. I'm very much looking forward to setting up camp while it's daylight. Though, I got out of the house very early, so I've got plenty of time. Alright. 